is Lisa Butler backstage at Herve Leger for attempt two. Brush. We've just created a bit of gold across the top lid and into the um, crease and just beyond very softly with the airbrush moving all the time to create a really soft halo. And then we've changed the pods on our airbrush into a light foundation. So we've taken the lightest part here, matched it to this, and then we've drawn in a shape that airbrushed in around the eyebrows, under the eyes, down to the mouth and onto the chin. So we've created a kind of triangular shape with the airbrush. Then we've drawn in a brow. We've got a really strong line coming from here up to here on the bottom of the brow. The top, just a nice smooth curve. A little bit of mascara. We're going to put a little bit of gold in here just at the end of the show, just before they go out, just to make it pop. And just attempt to um, lipstick, just smudged into the lips. And that's the total look today. an airbrush to create this look is because it's quite low in pigment and it comes out in a very soft, soft flow, which means that we can create this kind of softness. You can't really see where the edges are, like with traditional airbrushing, but because it has a really slow release, you've got lots and lots of control, so you can't really make mistakes. As long as you keep the brush moving all the time, you can basically sculpt in um, the face. I just don't like that day. 